Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Much like her Suits character Rachel Zane, Meghan Markle freed herself from her father's constraints thanks to her success as an independent woman. Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, however, did have a hand in her success. He helped Meghan navigate her complicated identity as the biracial daughter of a white man and African-American woman, supported her acting career from an early age, and even paid her college tuition. Although her parents divorced when she was just six years old, Meghan did spend a fair amount of time with her father during the week, as she would spend nights at Thomas Place while attending private school. During this time, she also spent countless evenings helping her father, who was a lighting director and director of photography for a sitcom with his craft. She said in a 2013 interview with Esquire, Every day after school for 10 years, I was on the set of Married, with children, which is a really funny and perverse place for a little girl in a Catholic school uniform to grow up. However, the real, life relationship between Megan and her father is no longer as rosy as her characters. While Megan and her father grew up quite close, their relationship has disintegrated in more recent years. Megan and Thomas Markle's rift began in recent years. While it's unclear who is to blame, their rift seems to have begun just prior to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding, when Thomas Markle staged his own paparazzi photos. It is unknown whether Thomas took money in exchange for the photos, but the stunt did unravel after Harry's repeated requests from the media to respect his father-in-law's privacy. Thomas was meant to walk Meghan down the aisle just a few days later, but he was ultimately unable to attend his daughter's ceremony after a heart attack and chest pains forced him to undergo heart surgery. Megan announced in a statement at the time, Sadly, my father will not be attending our wedding. I have always cared for my father and hope he can be given the space he needs to focus on his health. I would like to thank everyone who has offered generous messages of support. However, rumor has it that Thomas planned to skip his own daughter's wedding regardless out of embarrassment. Whatever the reason, however, his absence reportedly made Meghan cry right before her wedding. And although texts show that Meghan and Harry both attempted to reach Thomas in the days leading up to the wedding, there was pin drop silence on his end. Meghan Markle's personal letter to Thomas Markle revealed to make matters worse, Thomas Markle only seemed to fan the flames when he went to the media with personal details about himself and his daughter Meghan Markle. The whole affair, and his subsequent run, ends with the media who were discouraged by the couple, as text messages show. A series of texts reported show that the couple requested Thomas refrain from going public with family problems. One of the messages read, Tom, Harry again, really need to speak to you. You do not need to apologize, we understand the circumstances, but going public will only make the situation worse. If you love Megan and want to make it right, please call me as there are two other options which don't involve you having to speak to the media who incidentally created this whole situation. However, the couple's repeated requests fell on empty ears when Thomas went to the media with a personal letter exchange between Megan and himself. The letter shows Megan pleading with her father to stop spreading lies about their relationship that spun Megan in a negative light, including claims that Megan never financially aided her dad. She wrote to him, Your actions have broken my heart into a million pieces, not simply because you have manufactured such unnecessary and unwarranted pain, but by making the choice not to tell the truth, as you are puppeteered in this. But was the media truly at fault? Did the media make Thomas Markle's situation worse? Going public with the letter was not the end of the affair either. Thomas Markle repeatedly gave interviews with various outlets. He shared personal details about daughter Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, 
including their longing to have a baby and Carrie's political views on Brexit and Donald Trump. In a 2020 lawsuit, the couple filed against the tabloid media, Meghan and Harry claim that Thomas and his daughter's very close relationship fractured in large part due to intrusive coverage. The two became distanced, she claimed, when Thomas was targeted three years ago. However, media groups maintain that the letter was only published with explicit permission from Thomas. That's a probable claim, considering Thomas has repeatedly gone to the media to exercise the right to defend myself. While Thomas maintains that he still loves and misses her daughter, he released a documentary series earlier, this year called Thomas Markle, my story in a seeming attempt to capitalize on their rift. He said in the documentary, I'm going to defend myself, and I'm going to be paid for it. I'm not going to refuse to get paid for it. I'll do future things and be paid for it, I think. I don't care. At this point, they owe me. The royals owe me. Perry owes me. Megan owes me. What I have been through, I should be rewarded for. Thank you for watching the video on LMT Channel. Stay healthy and keep safe. And another analysis of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are pitching a secret project to media companies. Though they are no longer front and center in royal life, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry have been making some major moves. The pair have moved to Meghan's home state of California, where they just purchased their first home together as a couple in Santa Barbara. Initially, at the beginning of quarantine, news leaked that the Sussexes were looking to launch their new venture, Arkawell Foundation. However, the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic, Black Lives Matter, and the November 2020 election have taken precedent over Arkawell. While the foundation has been put on ice for the moment, the Sussexes are pressing forward with some other plans and ideas. In fact, it's being reported that the royal couple is shopping an ultra-secret project to networks. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been working no stop since Mexit. After announcing their exit from the British royal family, the Sussexes left the UK for Canada, where they took some much-needed time away from the spotlight to begin figuring out their next moves. In March 2020, they returned to the UK for their final royal engagements before eventually moving to Los Angeles. For the next several months, the pair remained quarantined in Tyler Perry's Beverly Hills home with their son, Archie, and Meghan's mom, Doria Ragland. However, though they weren't able to be out and about, the Sussexes have been volunteering and laying the groundwork for their future endeavors. Now that they are settled in their new Santa Barbara home, things have accelerated tenfold. An insider explained to LMT Channel, Harry and Meghan are working on so many different initiatives and so many charities. They have a great team working with them, but the workload is still intense and it doesn't leave a lot of time to worry about this book. They are focused on the future and what they can do to help out during this pivotal time in history. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle haven't earned any money yet. Despite their goodwill and their intentions to create a life for themselves independent of the royal family, the Sussexes haven't earned any money yet. With an extensive mortgage on their new home and the rent and payments they are sending to the UK for Frogmore Cottage, this could cause quite the issue. Royal expert Caitlin Flanagan told Entertainment Tonight, They do need to make money. They've been in Los Angeles since March. They left the royal family at the end of March, and as yet, they haven't actually earned anything. It looks like the royal couple already has something up their sleeves to begin bringing in the dough. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly shopping a secret project to networks. It looks like the Sussexes have been working on a top, secret project. Prince Harry and Meghan have been quietly shopping an idea for a project to various media companies. 
Details about the project remain super scare, but here's what we do know. The Sussexes secretly took meetings about the project in June, and they would like to serve as joint producers on it. Leiden, a former actor, has no plans on acting in the project. We guess we'll know more soon. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.